Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is business um, business marketing. I actually have a website called 50mistakes, 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes that restaurant owners make. I've made all these mistakes and they're easy to fix. So check out 50mistakes.com. Today's thing, I'm actually in a response to somebody who, who tweeted me on Twitter um, called at the at the flake list flaky at the flake list and their profile says one out of five dining reservations is a no-show so they tweeted me and how do I feel about reservations and no-shows that's such a great question um, well but here's the exact tweet by the way what's your take on no-show diners and restaurants charging no-show fees so obviously this is a problem when people don't show up for a reservation and each restaurant is so different that you have to have your own policies that fit your own guidelines my policy at my restaurant which works for me if you call and make a reservation for a regular a la carte dinner I take your name and your phone number if you don't show up for that reservation 15 minutes 20 minutes later and I have people that want that table I'll call you if you don't answer or if you you know whatever happens if you can't make it there I'm gonna give your table away give you the respect and courtesy first that's just for a regular old any old night okay um, if I'm super super busy let's say it's like a New Year's Eve um, or a Friday night that's something going on in town we make sure we call everybody make sure that they are confirmed okay but we usually don't do that now if it's a special night more like New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, a wine dinner, a beer dinner, a holiday, especially a family holiday like Thanksgiving. Um, Christmas Day, we're not open, but Christmas Eve we are. Christmas Day, we open as a soup kitchen and give away uh, about 550 free meals to the local community, anybody who needs a meal. So that day, we're not open. If it's a family holiday or anything like that, we have a strict policy where we explain it up front. You have to be honest and explain up front to the people. And when it's a family holiday like Thanksgiving, you know, we simply say, you know, we bring in extra staff. And we want to make sure that we don't have any cancellations so that we maximize our staff. Because if anybody can stay home and enjoy it with their family, we want them to do that. So we don't want to overstaff. But then what we do for like my beer dinners is we take a, we get, we get a credit card for any of these kind of days. We get a credit card and we tell you, you have 24 hours prior to cancel if you don't cancel you're charged 15 bucks which is really not nothing not, not much if you actually don't call and don't show up which never happens because when they give a credit card they're on top of it we would charge you full price if you just didn't show up for the dinner we would charge you it's never happened but the 15 dollars has happened a couple of times and what we've done even other times is we feel bad taking people's money but you as a diner you've really as a patron you've got to be on top of it because restaurants a lot of restaurants rely upon reservations to staff and know what's going on and to make money so if you're gonna book an eight top at a restaurant and then not show up they've lost eight seats for a half an hour or an hour or whatever that that potentially can add up to be a devastating number by the year's end so everything matters um, and if you're late for a reservation you know you can only expect that the restaurant is gonna give your table away you know we wait 15 20 20 minutes half an hour if there's somebody there then we call you but so one thing that we've done in the past that's worked very well is you know if, if we know them and and you know they have a legitimate excuse like you know because you'll tell if somebody has a legitimate excuse we'll simply charge your credit card we say well, it's within our cancellation policy we're going to charge your credit card but as an appreciation we're going to send you a gift certificate to make up for that amount so we're going to get them back in the door so it's a fifteen dollar gift certificate it's not much we charge them fifteen we send them out a fifteen dollar gift certificate so my check average per person is about forty five dollars a person so what that enables them to do is come back and spend fifteen dollars and we get this them back in the door and we put an expiration date on it of like forty five days so they have to come back soon and use it so that's the actual key that we use but every restaurant's different so I mean at the flake list um, on Twitter great question I see you're kind of devoted to no show and reservations and it is a problem but every res every restaurant has to understand what who their customer is um, where their customers are coming from and uh, and really not turn your customers off that's the main thing you want them to keep coming back so you're gonna have to really understand where your where your that fine line is on how to manage 
no shows, cancellations, and then to manage, you know, um, you know, you're just seating, you're seating in general to make sure the restaurant is flowing. So great question. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. Thanks for watching. Check out all my tips on 50mistakes.com, 50 mistakes restaurant owners make and uh, or any business makes, and there's a lot more than 50 tips on there. So enjoy. Email me at help at 50mistakes.com. Thanks for watching.